Hey everyone, Rob here, and today I'm going to be covering Con Emu, or Console Emulator. I have their site up here, which I'll put a link in the description of this video. And this is um, what I was using basically before Windows Terminal came out, and I discovered those benefits. Uh, I still use this one because it has an awesome feature where it, it allows you to use Quake style drop down, where I do the shift key plus tilde day and it drops down a PowerShell menu or I can put it back up. This is capable of loading many different applications, not just PowerShell. So it could be command prompt or bash, but also notepad, uh, auto runs, uh, things of that nature, putty. Um, and those you can see if we click our drop down here next to create new console, we have shells, command prompt or command prompt is admin. PowerShell or PowerShell is admin, so you can select a profile to open. Uh, Putty, Bash, Notepad, Auto Runs. Uh, these three here, Notepad, YouTube Example, Auto Ones, I created. And I'm going to show you how to create those custom ones a little later. Um, so one of the cool things about this is, of course, our drop down there. You can see up here we have our tabs and the number one there. We can open a new tab by doing two different keys, shortcuts are built in by default. You can define custom ones later on if you prefer as well, but these are your two main ones. So I have Windows key X is currently set up to open command prompt with admin permissions. So you can see now number two is command prompt. And if I do Windows key W, that opens my default profile, uh, which I have selected as PowerShell. And you'll also notice that I have named the title what that opens. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. I can rename that title on my own by doing app key, which is typically on, on your keyboard, the right side control. It's the key just to the left of control. So you hold down the app key and do R. You get a little prompt here. We'll call it example. And you can see now number three has been renamed to example. I can move in between them by holding down control and hitting the number of the window I'm in. So one is who am I, two is bash, and three is my PowerShell one. So I, well, this will be RIP config. And you can also move through them by doing, uh, if you hold down control and do tab, you can see I'm cycling through them. As soon as I let go of tab, it will select. Um, so you can hit tab multiple times while holding down control to shift through different ones visually if you prefer. Uh, that's probably helpful if there's tabs you can't see. Um, another thing we can do, uh, similar to Tmux and Windows Terminal, is we can split our panes. So we can do that by doing uh, control plus shift plus E. And that's going to split <coughs> vertically. And now if I want to split this horizontally, what I would do is control plus shift plus O. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> control shift O, and that splits horizontally. Now you'll notice um, this created a window for each one of them, even though they're different panes. So I'm not going to be able to use arrow keys to move between them. It's still holding down control and going one, two, three, four, five kind of deal. So even though it's it, it's still simple to move between them, it's just a little bit different than the other tools you may have used previously. So we can close our pane by doing exit, or we can also do Windows key delete. So we hold down Windows key and hit delete, or we can do Control Windows key delete. So Control plus Window plus delete. Yeah. All right on. So. Uh, that is basically how to move in between the panes and different tabs that can open. There are other functionality we have, for example, is if I open Notepad here, and then I have my drop down. Maybe I'm typing stuff in here, test text, and I want to put it inside my Con Emu session to kind of get it out of the way and have it where I can use the drop down functionality. What I would do is Windows key Shift G select untitled notepad and click attach and it will add it into my Con Emu window. 
Uh, the downside to having Notepad and other applications like that up there is a lot of the shortcut keys don't work. So I can't hold control one, two, three, and, and move in between my tabs. Um, I can close it by doing Windows key delete. It will prompt me to save. I'm gonna click don't save. And then I can go back to using my shortcuts. Otherwise, I would have to click out of Notepad in order to use my key shortcuts again. Um, another thing that gets loaded in here, which is very cool, if we do, uh, so I told you about the two keys, Windows key X, Windows key W, open your default shortcut keys. If we do Windows key Shift W, we have like an options menu where we can decide which one we want to open. So I'm going to select Putty. We can open as the current user, or we can run it with admin permissions if we prevent, or if we prefer, or use another user and enter a password. Um, just to demonstrate it here, I'm going to click select to right. The right will say 50%. Layered would open a new tab. Um, to right is opening the window on the other half of the screen. So I'm going to click start. This opens up my putty window here and I simply am going to load my Legion profile and click load. Something's stopping me. And, oh, sorry, I'm clicking load instead of open. So I click open, brain fart there, type in my username, enter my key password, and now I'm SSH'd into a Linux machine, which is basically my Raspberry, one of the Raspberry Pis I have. And we can resize with the mouse. We uh, are not able to do that with the key shortcuts, unfortunately, but we can do it that way. So I'm gonna exit out of that. Um, I'm gonna go back to my drop down here just to show what else was there. So, uh, I'm, so I want to show my settings here. So I click this. Sh uh, settings we can select from here, or do Windows key Alt P. And attached to was when we added the notebook, new console dialog was when we got the window and I opened putty. But we're gonna do Alt Windows key Alt P and view our settings. So this is gonna be our startup task or our profile, I guess you could call it. This is one I created custom. Uh, every time I open Con Emu, this is what gets loaded. Anything I load after that is just whatever you're working with, basically, whatever's in your workflow. Uh, one thing that is not se selected by default is Quake Style slide down from the top of the screen. So if I uncheck this, now while this is selected, if I click off it, it should disappear. Oh no, sorry, I lied there. This is. Now I can move it around and such away from the screen. I was thinking of something else. Uh, now I can use my shortcut key to drop it down and hide it. And, um, and this is my shortcut key here. You can change this if you prefer to use something else. However, I like the default. I feel like it's very uh, intuitive. Uh, if you want to stick with Quake, you could probably make that F12 um, to, use, to keep with that key combo. Uh, what I was thinking of earlier was Quake style auto hide on focus lose. So if I select this text box, now I click off of Kanemu and it hides the window. Um, I prefer to have it so it's always showing. This way I click off it and I still have my terminal up there. I can scroll up and down in my web browser or maybe whatever I'm looking at and I can copy and paste in between the two or get information from one or the other, which is very useful. Um, a lot of these are fairly intuitive, you know, just, you can load a background image if you like, you can set the font, the size, different appearance things, um, your text cursor. Uh, the main functionality you get from this is going to come from your startup and tasks here. So uh, before I forget also, this is your configuration file. If you save this file, move it to different computers it's going to keep your configuration wherever you load that file from so that's good to have but back to tasks here you'll see startup uh, notice you'll see shells and CMD if I were to do that here right now just to demonstrate I have my drop down you can see startup is number one however
However, if I add it to our shells window there, by doing shells colon colon, save my settings, now it goes into the shells uh, side window there. So that's kind of, you can group your profiles in that manner. Um, <clears throat> the other profiles we have here, of course, command prompt, command prompt with admin permissions or command prompt with different architectures and PowerShell, PowerShell admin, bash, all that fun stuff. Uh, you'll notice PowerShell admin here. This I have checked as the default task for new console and that is our Windows key W shortcut. So whenever we do that, it opens this profile. And when it opens that profile, it loads PowerShell using the switch new console uh, with A is for basically run as or admin privileges and T allows me to change the title, which is where, so if I go up here, Windows key W, it opens with admin permissions and sets the title of the window to Osborne Pro Tobor. Um, there are also other switches. You can add, you know, these kind of task parameters with slash dir to set it to the C directory, or you can change your icon image. You can also do those same tasks by doing new console um, I for icon, and then you set your icon image path um, in in this kind of manner. Um, to get more into that, um, for auto runs, I'm going to show you how I created this profile. So for one, if you're not seeing things such as putty or bash in here and you click reload, it's going to automatically find anything that might integrate with Kanemu such as putty and it's going to load it automatically. Other things you have to load manually such as auto runs. So I'm going to use the minus key here to delete that profile. Now I'm going to create it again by clicking the add key. Group 22, I'm going to rename to auto runs. Hot key, we're going to change to A for auto runs. Uh, Windows key shift, we're going to do. So now when I do Windows key shift A, it's going to open auto runs. And this is the command to open that. So it's gonna ex we're gonna accept the license agreement and execute this executable. I'll save our settings. Now we test it out by doing Windows key shift A and auto runs is now open inside Conemu. Um, and again, I can't use control to switch to my other tabs there. I have to close it or manually click out of it. So if, if I click one right now, I can move to two or three, but as soon as I'm in four, I'm not going to be able to get out in that same manner. I need to only the close works, which is Windows key plus delete or control Windows delete. So back to our settings, we do Windows key alt P as in Paul. Um, we also have a YouTube example, which I set here. And what this is doing is, um, well, just so we have command prompt is going to be opened, PowerShell is going to be opened, and Bash. And they're all going to be opened in split panes inside our window. So to do that, we have N for no exit. We have S, and that stands for, um, um, oh wow, I can't remember what that S stands for. It's uh, split, sorry people, split tab. So split our one, our one tab horizontally, that's what Bash is doing, and PowerShell is splitting our one tab vertically with no exit. So if I load that profile, you'll see we have this here is gonna be command prompt, this one here is PowerShell, and this one here is Bash. So you can get an idea how that splits things. Um, so command prompt was our initial console, then we split it vertically, then we split it horizontally is how that went down. Um, so we covered that, we covered Putty Bash. Um, that looks like everything I wanted to cover. I hope this was helpful and uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Thank you.